Hey, what's the crack and welcome to or back to the channel. Now, before we jump in, just two super quick important pieces of information that may save you a bit of time. One is that when I refer to, you know, reviewing an edit, I refer to a specific cut within a timeline. I'm not talking about reviewing a full cut, such as a final cut. And the other thing that's important is we're gonna be using a keyboard shortcut as part of this tutorial. And that keyboard shortcut does rely on you using the default DaVinci Resolve shortcuts. So if you've changed that or didn't set it up with the defaults, make sure that you go and change that over to something that makes sense to you so that you can utilize this technique. But with that out of the way, let's jump into the software. In this scenario, we're simply playing through our edit and we come across an edit that we want to review. So in this case, I want to review this edit right here between this clip and this clip, this cut right here between the two. Admittedly, for the longest time to do this, I would do the crude obvious method, which would be to use our mouse to pull our playhead back and just hit the space bar and do this over and over to review that edit however many times I would need to but the better, more efficient way to do this will be using the keyboard shortcut forward slash. And what this will do is trigger a pre and a post roll play section within your timeline. So right now, when I press forward slash, we will get a pre and a post roll of two seconds, giving us a total playback of four seconds. And that midpoint is going to be determined by wherever your playhead is. So I would recommend putting your playhead on the cut and then triggering this pre and post roll. And if you come up to just below your preview window and toggle that little loop icon, when you trigger this pre and post roll playback, it will loop that section of four seconds for you. Now, as I just mentioned, I currently have this set up to do a playback of two seconds pre roll, two seconds, post roll. So how do we change that? So you're going to come up to the top left here and click on DaVinci Resolve and come down to Preferences. You'll then come over to Users and then down to the Edit tab. And then within here you'll scroll down and you'll see you have this uh, pre-roll time and post-roll time option. You can see that you have options for seconds and frames. So in our example, we'll turn this to a half a second pre-roll and half a second of post-roll, giving us a total roll of one second. Now my timeline is 23.976 frames per second. Let's not split hairs. Let's call it 24 frames per second. So to get a half second pre or post-roll, we'll want to set that to 12 frames and we'll just hit save. And now when we trigger this with that keyboard shortcut forward slash, you can see we now have a one second roll, 12 frames either side of the playhead for us to review that cut with. As always, I hope you found that helpful. And if you did, please do give the video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel and hitting the notification bell. Have a good one and I hope to see you in the next video. We came to fight.